Hey, good afternoon. My name is Ernest Brimfield. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing really well. You know, the weather is cooling off, which we don't see too much here in Texas. Uh, I know. We're going to game seven and the Aggies are playing a good game today. So lots to be excited about and lots to look forward to. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So I just want to get your, make sure I got your name correct. It's Joe, right? Yes. So, well, it is a pleasure to meet you and thank you for sitting down and, and willing to have a 20 minute conversation with me. Um, I got to speak with Jamie last week a little bit about uh, the College Station Funeral Homes and really the opportunities you guys have for growth. Um, so we'll get to talk a little bit about that today if, if you're interested. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So what we'll do is I'll uncover a little bit about you, about the business, and really what your goals are. We'll show you why Percoa has been so successful with clients in the past. I'll show you an economic analysis. And finally, Joe, I'd love to uh, finalize the partnership with you and, and grow your opportunities in the College Station area. All sound good to you? Yeah. Sweet. Well, tell me, how have things been? How's business going for the College Station Funeral Home? It's going good. It's going good. I mean, COVID definitely hit us um, in a way that we had to pivot and figure out new ways to serve families and things like that. But, you know, we've we've been around for a long time and people know us and, and we love serving families. So business business has been been good nonetheless. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So when I spoke with Jamie last week, she, she gave me a rough number of about 700 cases a year. So when you say business is good, is that accurate? 700 cases a year? Yeah, um, it, it, it fluctuates, um, but on average, yeah, that, that's about right. Perfect. And just curious, what's the mix? What in terms of pre-need versus at-need, how much of that is coming from each? Yeah, um, honestly, I, I don't know a specific number, but thinking about, we honestly have never really put a ton of resources into our pre-need program. Okay. Um, it's just something that, you know, we, we do have the ability to, and, and that's about the extent of it. So, um, you know, we really focus on the at need families. We care about being able to serve them and, and, you know, taking care of what's right in front of us at time. Right. Um, but if I could ballpark, I'd probably say it's, you know, probably 80, 20, 80, 20. Wow. That's really interesting you say that. So we did a market analysis and it, what we found is 50% of uh, funeral home business is coming from at need, whereas the other 50 are coming from pre need. So I can mm -hmm. already see a huge opportunity for the college station funeral home. But I know mm -hmm. you mentioned something about resources and you haven't put much into it. Um, tell me about the resources you have used and I'm curious, what was the success? Yeah, so right now we rely on you know, just our, our, our brand loyalty, brand recognition in the community. Um, and a lot of, a lot of it is kind of that, that walk-in call-in people, the people that just reach out to us, say, hey, we want to plan something. Um, you know, we've done in the past some like church luncheons, we joined some grief share um, services, things like that. And not even with a, a focus on the pre-need side, but just showing the community that we support them and we're with them. And then usually out of that, um, there are some, some people that want to take care of their arrangements ahead of time. But, um, you know, our main focus for a long time has been, you know, really building out how we can stand out in the way that we serve people in the at need side that we just haven't taken the time to really ever build out a program for our pre need. Makes sense. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, and so you said COVID hit you in a, in a way that you could not have prepared for. And I know you mentioned that you guys have been engaged in, in things like luncheons and things like that. So how are you keeping the community engaged today in this world of COVID? Yeah, it's, it's tough. Um, it really is. We've been able to, you know, pivot to do online services. Um, we've built out our website to where um, there's a lot of resources on the people's obituaries where they can, people can send like, it's called hugs from home and they can send virtual cards to family members of, of loved ones instead of, you know, obviously being able to be there. And um, so we, we've definitely had to adjust in those kinds of ways um, because of COVID and, and, you know, reaching out to the, the community, just letting them know, hey, we're here for you if you need anything. Because yeah. um, we do know the grieving process, especially in the midst of COVID has been really tough on our families. Right. Makes sense. And Joe, I've heard you say this word a lot and, and I can't help but resonate. And that word is community. You've mm -hmm. said it a couple of times and 
I love that you bring that up because when we talk about growing a business and acquiring new partnerships with opportunities like this one, um, our focus is the community and our focus is the family. We'll talk a little bit about the results and things like that later on. Um, but at the end of the day, I just want to reassure you, it's about the community, it's about the family. And like you said, you know, you guys are thriving off of your brand and reputation. And our goal is to partner with you and, and market on behalf of your brand and reputation to grow it. Uh, so with that being said, I'm, I'm a little bit curious about the future goals for the business. Um, what's, what's your growth looking like? I mean, are you wanting to grow? Um, tell me a little bit about the future goals. Yeah, um, currently we've got steady growth. Um, I will say that we're seeing a lot of, of change in the industry of people, you know, gearing more towards cremation. It's the cheaper option. It's simpler, easier. People don't want services, um, things like that. So that has kind of taken a toll on our yearly profits because the, the tradition of a funeral is really changing. Right. So that's, that's kind of one of our main goals right now is, is figuring out a way that we can maintain the revenue that we have, although, um, our, you know, the, the culture with around funerals has been changing so rapidly. So that's been a big thing. And, and I, I would hope that we would be able to continue to remain, you know, the largest family owned funeral home in the area, wow. um, but we have to learn how to pivot with our customers as well. Sure. Well, you said your goal ultimately is to maintain revenue, right? Because things are getting cheaper, people going for cheaper alternatives. Um, Joe, unfortunately, I, I can't tell you that we are, if we partner, that we are going to maintain your business. Um, in fact, our goal is to grow the business. So um, take that word maintain out and think of growth, okay? Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I want to I hit on is um, just really how much you guys are doing. Um, it sounds like you've had lots of, uh, or some efforts anyway, um, but I, I want to show you why Percoa has been so effective um, and why our marketing really works. Is that okay with you? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Let me know once you can see it. Bear with me here. All right, can you see that okay? I can. Okay, cool. So Joe, before we move forward, um, I, I just want to ask you, are you the only person we should be considering in this conversation today? Is there anyone else besides Jamie that we should bring on board? Uh, no, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm an owner, I'm, I'm a head decision maker, so I'm cool. the guy. Yeah, cool. Well, um, so Percoa, we are a family business with experts in sales and marketing, striving to help families proactively prepare for their futures. Now I know you're thinking you are a insurance company and you wouldn't be wrong, but we're not just any insurance company. In fact, we have partnered with three of the best insurance companies in the nation to ensure flexibility and opportunity for your customers when it comes to their policy. But insurance isn't where we stop, nor is it really where we start. And if it were, we wouldn't be so successful. So you mentioned that you are the largest and most successful funeral home in the area but I wanna hit you with some knowledge. Only 39% of people in College Station know that they are going to the College Station funeral home. And only 33% of people say that they are likely to pre-fund in their future. These numbers are drastic when we know that 90% of people are aware that this is a service and 70% of people think it's a great idea. So why is there a huge gap between the opportunity and what we're truly capturing? I think the answer is simple and it's education and opportunity. At Percoa, we have eight fundamentals to our proactive business model that help us drive sales and increase building relationships with all of our partners. First, we've got our funer funeral planning center. This allows our counselors to be extremely effective in what they do best, connecting with families. Our sales reps are so effective that over the last year, we have proven a 42% conversion rate on all families that we've spoken to. We do this thing called relationship management, but we do it digitally. We've got CRM tools that allow us to insert leads names, what they like, what they're not so interested in and helping them find the perfect solution. We generate your leads to help you bring in more business every single day, but more importantly, grow your reputation. At the end of the day, we are not 
here to solely bring in more cases every single year. We are eager to help you grow your name and grow your reputation within the community so that families feel at ease when that day comes and they know exactly where to go, the College Station Funeral Home. When we say we're a marketing company, that doesn't mean we're posting on Facebook and Instagram every day. Now, what that means is that we've got effective reporting and market analysis. We've captured data on, in, on funeral homes around the nation to ensure that you, we are keeping up with your demands and you're staying competitive in today's market. Does all that make sense? What questions do you have for me, Joe? Yeah, um, I mean, it sounds like a lot. <laughs> that you guys do, um, but I, I mean, it's great. I just, I, I'm, it sounds like a lot of work to put into the, the pre-need side of things. And, and I've honestly, maybe I'm missing something, but I've never really understood the importance of having a huge pre-need program. Like, you know, we're, we wanna help families obviously, um, but I mean, I don't, I don't see a need for it to be sure. this big. Well, and I, I appreciate you bringing that up, Joe. You, you said it, right? We want to help our families. And if we think about the services that we're providing to you, we're really focused on those families and how we're going to help them. So why this is so important for the, for the families and the communities? Well, first of all, Pre-Need allows you with our company to finance up to 20 years, which is beyond most other policy carriers. Um, we're flexible and we can release the funds within 24 hours. So we've got the funds for you and we're growing those funds every single day as they sit in our accounts. The price is locked in for consumers. So when we talk about wanting to help someone, you tell them that they're gonna save money in the long run and the day that comes, they're gonna be at ease. I think they'll really feel the appreciation and they'll understand why College Station is the best. Does that help answer your question? Yeah, yeah, I, I get it a little bit more, I guess, um, you know, it, it is uh, really beneficial for the families, which is what we're all about. So I, yeah, I, I get that. Okay, cool. But, you know, there's, there's really two people to it, right? So you're our partner, but we also share the same customer. I want to talk to you a little bit about how this is going to help you by, by showing you some of the results that we have been able to prove. 131% increase in pre-need services. 152% increase? These numbers are drastic and coming from directors around the nation. Joe, I cannot imagine what the College Station Funeral Home is gonna look like once you begin to partner with us and start seeing numbers like this. But what do these numbers actually mean? Let's dive into it a little bit more. Okay. So let's take a look at this market analysis. So after speaking with Jamie last week, we went to our business development reps and we said, hey, what is it gonna look like in College Station? How is this gonna help Joe and his business? Well, we can already see off the bat that we are generating $95,000 of value on a monthly basis. That's a lot of money for you to sit back and have no extra worries. Because again, we're taking it all digital with our CRM tools. Um, and we've got our internal counselors that do the connecting for you. 95,000 in one month, how does that sound? Sounds not too bad. Yeah, cool. Well, um, so let's look at the way that we market. So the very top one is direct mail. And I know you're probably thinking, who the heck checks their mail these days? <laughs> but we're in a very traditional business, right? And we like to say that we're a generation or two behind. But when we talk about the ideal target audience, we're talking about folks that enjoy checking the mail. We're talking about folks that look forward to the letters in the mail. So we've proven a 2.2% reply on all mail-ins that we've sent out, which is impressive. And you can see that that 2.2% is a value of $22,000. And that's just off of mail-ins. Our group presentations are extremely effective and our customers are more than happy. Over the last decade, we have proven 95 to 96% retention rate. Over the last year alone, we were at a 98 to 99% retention rate. So as you can see, our key performance indicators are focused on the satisfaction of you and your families. What question do you have about the market analysis? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously the numbers are there. Um, I get it. Um, I just, I have a little bit of a hesitation with uh, just 
you know, coming off salesy or pushy or, you know, like we want to take advantage of the community. I, I mean, reputation's huge and we've done some previous marketing campaigns and got some negative feedback from those. And I just worry that people are going to think that we're trying to, you know, squeeze them dry. Right. And you know what? I feel you, right? This is a very sensitive topic that we're talking about. And a lot of people dread this conversation. Um, but I want to reassure you by letting you know that we don't connect with families unless they reply to us. So when I say we've got a 2.2% reply, we are following up on that 2.2% because they have expressed interest. We're not going to continue marketing to folks that aren't interested in the business, right? We only want to provide solutions to the communities and the families that you are able to serve. Does that help answer your question? Yeah, I see. So, so you guys aren't cold calling families and, and things like that. No, ma'am, we are not. At the end of the day, like I said, ultimately our goal is to connect with the families. If in any way we can shed light, provide solutions, or just be a comforting pillow in, in these hard times for many people, uh, mm -hmm. that's truly really our goal. Um, so with all that being said, I wanna show you one final market analysis. And, and what we'll do is we'll simulate some numbers here to show you the variance in revenue that is opportunistic for you. Can you see the screen okay? Yes. I'm gonna refresh it just so it's not as blurry. Okay, so we said that you're doing about 700 cases per year, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Precoa says that we are gonna guarantee a minimum of 10% growth for you. And by the way, there's no out-of-pocket costs for you ever. So this is free and work free for you. I mean, how, how does that work? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Let's go back to this other analysis really quick and I can help you better understand. So basically what we do is uh, we get your permission to say we are marketing on behalf of the College Station Funeral Homes. And we go out and we market and we do what we do best, marketing, connecting, and re relating to individuals in the community. Um, we take a commission off of each case that we bring on for you guys, while obviously maintaining profitability for you. Did that help answer your question? Okay, so so the $48,000 per year is a cost to you guys based off of the commissions from insurance rather than a cost to me and my own out-of-pocket marketing. Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Okay. Yeah, great question. Um, so we'll go back over here to this market analysis. So we're, we're saying that there's a 10% increase in sales uh, in cases. So that's giving you an additional 70 cases per year and $350,000 in revenue. Joe, this seems like a great deal to me, and I'm sure it seems like a great deal to you. I just want to reassure you, there's no extra work, there's no out-of-pocket costs, and at the end of the day, our effective sales folks are here to connect with your families, your communities, grow your brand, and protect that reputation that you built. Does all that sound good to you? Yeah, I think that, I mean, it, it does sound great. These numbers are, are awesome, obviously. Um, I still just have my hesitation in, in how how it's going to come across to the community and and um, you know at the end of the day for me relationships are way more important than the profit that we're making and um, I, I'm I'm very impressed and, and interested but I don't know that I I'm quite ready to jump ship just yet. Hey, I completely understand that, and you know what? As a valued partner, when we come on to help you grow your business, what I want to ask is that you join us in our first consultation and help us really understand what the market is that you're looking for in terms of connecting with families because i get it you have a reputation you've been doing this for generations there's a traditional way of doing things in this business but we're just here to help and so if all of this sounds good to you joe i would love to come meet with you sometime next week do a consultation identify the ways to connect with your families and grow your business yeah yeah i could be open to that Okay, sweet. Well, I can come by the funeral home sometime next week, maybe Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. That works for me. Perfect. So what I'll do is as soon as we hop off of this call, I'll shoot you an email with the Zoom link and uh, we'll see you at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Do you have any other questions for me? No, uh, I'll save them for next Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Joe. You enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Ernest. I appreciate your time. Thanks.